Well, we've actually run into some of the postal workers who are filling in for their colleagues that are believed to be recovering from these robberies that have happened recently. The residents living in these areas call it all unfortunate. They grow a bond with these postal workers and are hoping the city and police can do more to protect them. The Postal Service back on the ground today in North Austin, but this man delivering the mail isn't the carrier these residents are used to seeing. That's because he's filling in for the man who was robbed Thursday afternoon while doing his job here near 1500 North Long. All of that caught on this home surveillance camera. As you see two suspects get out of the white vehicle there and rob the mail carrier of his belongings before they drive off. One man who did not want to be identified says he used to be a postal worker himself and it hurts him to see a familiar face dealing with an incident like this. Professional, that's what I call a good mailman. they professional, they take care of their customers and they do their job. Incidents like that have become a trend for postal workers locally and across the nation. That's why USPS officials just announced a $100,000 reward for anyone that could help identify these people of interest believed to be responsible for the robberies of two other postal workers in Chicago. Both of those incidents happened on August 1st, one of them near North Kildare and Belmont in Irving Park, where a carrier was shot while being robbed. Police say he's okay now, but shortly after that, another carrier was robbed in Logan Square, right near North Sawyer and Cortland. A nationwide effort now underway by lawmakers to replace the master keys that are often targeted in these robberies, as people say these incidents are just out of hand. Post inspectors ain't messing around with this here. And you're going to jeopardize your life and get 10 to 20 years in prison for a bundle of mail. Ain't nothing in it. You got his wallet. Ain't got nothing but a credit card in it. Ain't nothing. It's, it's not worth it. Go to school. Get your job. Anyone with information that could help this investigation is asked to call police or the United States Postal Service. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.